Pavana Bazaar, um, actually this is just a name, uh, Sheikh Vaivera, how I found him in Pavana Bazaar, one of the thoroughfares of Imphal, which has a lot of goods coming from China, from Moray, uh, Burmese goods. Uh, but the book actually uh, is stories, um, or are stories of uh, real people uh, telling stories in their own voice. Uh, because as a journalist, you know, the problem that I confronted was that I was, I failed to represent the people's voices there. It was just uh, incidental. Uh, the reportage or the coverage of those states, uh, which we call India's Northeast, but actually stories of their food, stories of their marriages, of their love, of their exile, those are the stories that were not being told. So this is an effort through this book to connect those dots and present a big picture. Well, you know, there are compelling stories out of that place, but one of the stories was of an army officer who helped save a village 16 years ago, as much as the village helped save him. And uh, the village discovers him and actually invites him back and I travel with him uh, to this place in Taming Long. And uh, there's, uh, you know, he goes to this village and he comes face to face with one of his killers who had shot a bullet at him 16 years ago. And here is this army officer from so-called mainland India hugging the a former militant, a moment which I thought was extremely compelling to tell the story of human uh, relationship, irrespective of borders, irrespective of communities, irrespective of really language or the color. Mm -hmm.